You are always better with your fists than with your singing. And you're as beautiful as you were on Kefalonia. I was covered in mud half the time. Still am. Life of a farmer, I suppose. I got your note. How did you know I was in Arcadia? Everyone's hunting for the Mystios with the broken spear and pet eagle. So I started a little hunt of my own. No matter where I used to hide on Kefalonia, you were the only one who could always find me. That's because you were terrible at hiding. Maybe you only found me because I wanted you to. Listen, we both know I was the one who was best at hiding. I'll prove it. Stay here, close your eyes, and at the count of ten, come and find me. You're joking. Come, it'll be like old times. And no using Icaros, that's cheating. Now, close your eyes. Anna. Dio, Tria, Tessera, Pende, Exi, Efta, Octo, Enea, Deca. Ready or not, here I come. Call this hiding? Your tracking skills have improved. It feels like forever since we've seen each other. I couldn't wait to find you. When did you become so charming? Since I got your note. Oh, this is too much fun. I want to hear everything about your life from the day I left until now. And I want to hear about yours. Oh, <laughs> my story would put you to sleep. Come. Let's go to the beach and talk like we used to in Sami. Life sounds so exciting, but there's something very important I need to know. Can you still hold your breath? My breath? On Kefalonia, you could always swim farther and deeper than anyone else. You used to bring me the most beautiful treasures from the sea. Don't move.
water so long I was getting worried. I wasn't coming up for air until I found the perfect gift. It's beautiful. You warm my heart like the sunrise. I didn't know how much you meant to me until I watched you sail away. We're here now, together. That's all that matters. Was it that bad? Anais? What's wrong? Seeing you playing and laughing like old times. There's something I haven't told you. I'm married. I see. I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. Meet me back at the house. I'll explain everything. Glad you came. So you're married. Why didn't you tell me sooner? Seeing you brought back so many fond memories. I wanted to live in them for as long as I could. Life's been hard since Dantos left. Where did he go? Once the war started, Spartans came for his sword. He was killed in battle. Leaving me to run the farm. And raise our son. You have a son? Arion. <laughs> I'd love for you to meet him. But he's run off again. Why aren't we looking for him? He always goes to the same cave, where he trains to be a mighty warrior. 
I don't think I've met a boy who didn't want to become the next Achilles. Yes, of course. You've given me an idea. You could talk to him. I could? <laughs> Gods know he doesn't listen to his boring mother. But you've seen death up close. You could convince him to stay away from fighting and help me here on the farm. All right. I'll talk to your son. Thank you. How should I introduce myself without scaring the boy? Tell him you are a friend of his mother's from Kefalonia. The one with the eagle. The stories I've told him about you are his favorites. Is there anything about your son's father I should know? To help me connect with him. Dantos broke his finger working the fields. It healed crooked. When Arion asked about it, my husband said he was so strong as a baby, he grabbed it and snapped it like a twig. <laughs> this is how we knew he was blessed by Heracles. I'll find Arion. My husband used to take him to the cave on hunts. They'd spend nights there. It's been taken over by wolves since then. Wait, did you say wolves? Yes, worries me sick. He calls them his friends and, believe it or not, they seem protective of the boy. Please, don't harm them, Alexios. Arion would be devastated. There he is. They don't attack me, I won't attack them. Whoa! You look like a mighty warrior! And you must be Arion. I've come to bring you home. 
Why should I trust you? Your mother and I used to get into trouble back on Kefalonia. Kefalonia? We'd sneak into the markets, grab as much cheese and grapes and bread as we could carry. My eagle, Icarus, kept watch and warned us if there was anyone coming. You're Alexius? The eagle bearer? <laughs> Your mother trusted me with the very important task of escorting you home through this dangerous forest. But I don't want to leave. I know. You come here to be close to your father. You know nothing about my pater! I know when you were a baby, you broke his finger with the strength of Heracles. Pater's fingers were big and tough. That's why I trained. To make these hands strong like his. I understand. But first we need to leave this cave. The wolves are getting hungry. They never eat me. They're my friends. Um, yes. <laughs> Your friends. Let's go anyway. Your mother misses you very much. If I do, could you teach me to be a mighty warrior? We'll see. Now come. to send anyone after me, Mater. I can take care of myself. I know you can, my love. You told him about me, Mater. He knew things. I did. He wanted to know all about you, so you weren't scared of going with him. I wasn't scared. I was brave. Thank you for bringing him home. What are you smiling about? I was just thinking about how I could possibly repay you for bringing Arion home to me. I'm sure I could think of a few things. <laughs> Name your price, Mistios. All this time together, and you haven't shown me where you sleep. <laughs> I'll show you a better spot, but we won't be sleeping. <laughs> Your appetite is insatiable. <laughs> you've awakened a part of me I thought I'd lost. I know you've already done so much for me. 
But if there's just one more thing you could do... I'm not sure I can stand up. Arion wants to be a mighty warrior. But I can't lose any more of my family to war. If Arion learns to fight, he can protect you and the farm. I can't work this farm alone. He won't listen to me, but he looks up to you. I can see it in his eyes. <sighs> I'll talk to him. But I don't think he's as fond of me as you are. You flatter yourself. Just show him how to plant seeds. Burn some old grass, maybe slaughter a few chickens. It will seem more exciting coming from you. Hello, Arion. Hello. What's wrong? I miss my butter. Want to talk about it? No. Okay. You don't have to talk. But you can listen if you want. I guess. I lost my father when I was young. I ran far, far away. My only friend in the world was Icarus. But one day, a bully threw a rock and nearly broke his wing. What did you do? I cut off his fingers with this. The Spear of Leonidas? Can I hold it? You can, but first I need you to do me a favor. Your mother needs you. <gasps> You're going to train me to be a mighty warrior? I will. I think you'd both benefit from having someone around here who can fight. Uh, I'm going to be the fiercest warrior you've ever seen. I'll cut my enemies into pieces. Stay close and pay attention. I won't have you injuring yourself. First, a warrior must be resolute in their decision to kill. When you're face to face with the enemy, you cannot hesitate. Hesitation hastens the grave. My mother taught me that. Should I train? All day. Every day. And when your hand starts to bleed, switch hands. What weapon should I use? For now, we're going to find you a wooden sword. This should do. If you're going to learn to fight, you need to use all your senses to anticipate your enemy's every move. How am I supposed to know that? By taking in the enemy before you and trusting your instincts. Watch. I'm going to swing at you from the right side. I want you to defend yourself. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, no fair. You said you're going to punch right. I also said you need to use all your senses. You heard me say right, but you should have seen me go left. Let's try again and listen carefully. I'm going to attack you from the left. Okay. You lied to me. And you're not paying attention. Don't let what you hear distract you from what's actually happening right in front of you. What happened to the bully whose fingers you cut off? He went and got his brothers. They beat me pretty badly. You didn't have any friends to protect you? Not until one little girl stood between me and those boys, and with the rage of Ares, screamed at them to leave me alone. Really? A girl? Who? That little girl was me. Whoa, Mater! Alexios taught me to be a mighty warrior like him! He did what? You wanted me to teach the boy. I can't teach him what I don't know. But what I did teach him, he can... He can go to war and die like his father. Like my husband. I know you've been through a lot. But you can't protect the boy by living in the past. I thought bringing you here would help us have a better future. I, I thought if you showed an interest in the farm, he'd get excited and maybe give up on becoming a warrior. It was wrong of me to put that burden on your shoulders. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's 
been nice having you around, Alexios. But I feel bad. All these years apart, and you've spent most of your time with Arion. Let's get away from all this, just you and me. There is a market in the year. I haven't been to in ages. There's food and wine and music. An evening alone sounds perfect. But what about Arion? Don't worry about him. All you need to worry about is meeting me in the year. I should find out what Anais likes before our evening together. mighty warrior like you when I grow up. Anais must have a lifetime supply of olives stashed here. So this is where Anais keeps her wine. <laughs> Smells strong. I'm getting lightheaded just sniffing it. Anais never told me she made honey. Let's find something to eat and drink, shall we? <laughs> the merchants have the most delicious selections. And tonight, I'll leave the decision-making to you. Remember when we used to steal food from the markets of Kefalonia? We could steal from this one, for old time's sake. Always the troublemaker. Uh. Welcome, my friends. I have a wonderful selection of wines for you and the lovely lady. Only the finest grapes from the finest vineyards. Do you prefer your wines dry, sweet, or strong? You've been all over the world. You must know all the best wines. This woman is a single mother who runs her own farm. She likes her wine strong. <laughs> you know me too well. Strong wine is the best wine. Oh. <laughs> mm. Everything smells so delicious. My mouth is watering. Smell that? That's the tastiest food in all of the year. Tell me, what will it be? We have leg of lamb with rice and olives, roast chicken with fresh vegetables, and slow-cooked goat stew. 
Oh, decisions, decisions. We'll take the lamb with olives, please. Oh, I love olives. I'm going to devour this meal. Then I'm going to devour you. <laughs> How much I needed this. Welcome, welcome. If you've got sweet teeth, then I've got sweet treats for those teeth. What will it be? Grape pudding with walnuts, fresh strawberries with cream, or baked pears with a honey glaze? Oh, yum! Choose wisely. I love sweets. The pears sound delicious. Homer called them gifts from the gods, but it's the honey that makes them truly divine. Night was perfect. You knew exactly what I wanted. Now, tell me what it is that you want. Let me show you. Mater, mater! You're not going to believe it! What is it, Arion? Bandits attacked the house! But I found one of Pantera's old swords and did everything Alexios taught me. And I scared them away because I'm a warrior like the mighty Eagle Bearer. That's incredible, Arion. You 